let's do it. My name is Max. My name is Ricky. And today, we and yes, last time, we just watched Commissioner Gordon kick a bunch of ass. <laughs> all these guys, all I did was take, I didn't even take down the shield dudes. I just knocked their shields out of them. That's it. He literally killed them. I mean, beat them into submission. Oh, Gordon, Gordon has killed. Oh, yeah, they're, they're oh, they're not he even took down a ninja. The guy took down a ninja. Hell yeah. Good God, Hell Gordon. Hell yeah. Wait, where wait, is, where wait, is my give wait, Gordon the cow wait. button? <laughs> Look to the left. Like, all right, that's not a mattress. That's just a map. <laughs> that's just a skin. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. All it's right. just an image. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Sorry. Where's my give Gordon the cowl button? Because he's a better <laughs> Batman than me. Press X for to pay respects. Press X to pay respects. <laughs> oh, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. <laughs> we Thank need to so play Metal Gear one day. I, oh, there's the burning toilet paper again. Yes, and it burns forever. It burns forever. It is the eternal flame. <laughs> it's the eternal fire. It is the eternal fire. It's not even, it's not even touching the toilet paper. That's how it's burning forever, Max. It's burning off of the oxen, oxygenated embers from the toilet paper. <sighs> I feel like this is some kind of dark soul just, stuff just here. Just go fight Joker. Just go. <laughs> I'm, I'm about this. I'm real close about this stupid. Uh, is this where we're supposed to be going? This is where we're supposed to be going. Oh, to the chapel. Yep, yep, to yep. To the chapel. You're right. Do all prisons have a chapel? Go into the chapel. This is a massive chapel. Seriously. Get married. My hometown church isn't even this big. That's because it's not Catholic. Ah, uh, that explains it. Look at the background. The, uh, look at the back image. The, uh, stained glass window. I thought Batman threw away the heart monitor. The <laughs> Doof. All this rage, all directed at me. I kind of want to. Yeah, let's yeah. play. Let's let's play out. Let me finish a sentence. You might learn something. Ha! They put that in. <laughs> Is he, is he actually going to pull trigger? You know, it's sad, really. I don't see him pull trigger. You don't care to see the good side in me. Well, I guess learning is a lot to ask from you, meat for brains. Oh. Oh. oh! 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 <laughs> I didn't know how I didn't know that would work. Oh, too bad, so sad. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> awesome that's so great i am glad i waited all right i have never seen that before i always love doing that there we go skip ahead to where we were there we go <laughs> that's good oh hang on i want to check out something that's interesting how you can't see the angel no matter which angle you look at it. That, and also like just the look of the angel and the, I guess. Wait, it does look like more angels though up there. Oh, uh, that is an angel. That looks more like a demon of some kind. Yeah. Interesting. You just gonna wait there? We got a little skippy skip. Doing, doing, doing. I didn't know he was gonna wait there. I'll just punch it to death. That is a throw. And just literally, it's it's just the one, it's the one hit beat down. That's it. I mean, I don't know what this is supposed to feel like. I have one of that. I mean, it's cool and all, sure. And like the sound design is good with the slow motion and the uh, freeze frame and such. But it's like. It just went on for a little too long. It yeah. just went on for a beat more than it needed to. Yeah, and there's not as much weight behind it. 
It's not badly done, it's just... I just don't know what the weight is supposed to be. What's the value? In Arkham Knight, there's a similar scene where you're essentially just beating down the Joker. Um, and it's, it's well done because it actually has a lot of meaning. It's like there's weight behind every punch. But yeah. in this one, it's not... It just doesn't have that as much. Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. He's hiding it behind a pew. And how did you do that? Batman just like just belly flopped down I behind the pew. Had some help. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I keep asking myself. Why I didn't bring him in. Because you couldn't find him, old man. <laughs> he is, he literally jumped away. I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. That's why you have to go. Pat, pat. <laughs> oh, shit. Joker does that already, okay? Don't need to jump ahead there. Oh. Did we have a paraplegic joke earlier on in this? Playthrough. Several, and it needs to end. It does. Oh boy. Stop his heart. That is funny. Good one, bats. This is going to be fun. I mean, it's this whole game essentially, at the end of it, it's like what was the giant value of this? It was it just kind of like how he met the Joker? Yep. I guess. I mean, it, it it's not a bad game. It's designed well. It's just like, I don't know. It just doesn't have as much weight and value as the other ones. Wow. That was it. That was, that's it. That's it for the main story. Wow. How about that? What an adventure. Our first adventure. Our, f uh, actually, yes, our yeah. first game we ever beat. Our first actual playthrough of e the story, at least. Everybody's favorite Christmas game. Everybody's favorite Batman Christmas game. I think it sold pretty well. The most sold Batman <laughs> Christmas game ever. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this fantastic adventure. Uh, all right, and the next a bunch of you are probably going to be like, "Oh, they didn't finish everything." So, the next episode is going to be wrapping up loose ends. Yep, it's going to be a combination of like collect collectible things, um, side quest things. Ah, oh, probably just a couple extra finale up things. Ooh, and then after that, what are we going to do next? We have the Frozen Heart DLC. Oh shit. What? Oh, you didn't know about this? What? What? Yeah, it did this in Arkham City. But it was uh, Mark Hamill singing. Yes, it was. Yep. I want to see Troy Baker voice act the Joker, like what what he was doing this to you, because Mark Hamill goes like full character into it. I'd like to see that. I've seen Troy Baker like do the monologue at like a, a convention, like on a panel. Yes. And he was kind of more stationary because he was reading off something. But I want to see him like in the studio. Elitius DLC level designer. Daniel So this is a game that uh, that I invented uh, uh, every time we go see a movie we have to find we have to find and pronounce some of the hardest names. Yes, we tried to do that in Infinity War. Jacques Patrick Odain. I mean Infinity War we we're also saying like dead. Dead <laughs> yeah. dead. No, don't don't spoil it. Daniel Gaupel. 
That was my thing. I took my family to see Infinity War. My mom still hates me for it. Frederick Oulet. La Branche. Emmanuel Papas. So, Max, overall, what was your view of this game? What did you think of it? Honestly, I think it was really well put together. I think uh, one of the things that I critique... Uh, that I critique all games really hard on is uh, is voice acting, and I think this one was on point. Uh huh. Um, it's not without its glitches, even though it's got Warner Brothers money, but that's fine because <laughs> you. Excuse me, Troy Baker. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> I did not hit her. It's bullshit. I did not. Oh hi, Mark. Um. Oh hey, petite home. Um. I think that it was all right. How do you feel about it? Um, I think the fighting, the gameplay of it, which I critique a lot on games, was done really well. The combat, smooth as ever, because they had the same freaking engine from before. Um, the gliding, I talked about it before, like the gliding wasn't as efficient enough for the size of the map. Ooh, hello. Following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. I don't remember this one. Cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings. What has happened to our police force? Who the heck is Dean what Snyder? I don't know. Tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy. But I can't see... To be fair, you guys lost the bridge. ...in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is... What Jack Ryder is the... Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one report guy. He's the, the jackal. Ooh, Quincy Sharp. This isn't about the police or the... Do you remember him? Yes. This isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the faith... Oh, I think they even got the same voice actor. That's cool. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham, Arkham Asylum. Asylum. And after what happened to <laughs> and there's the Arkham, Arkham Origins, I guess. Yeah. Tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened. So we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events, not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but, but on, on Blackgate Black Prison. And pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full... I thought it was an operation at this point. ...with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. So after the entire game, we finally have the Arkham Origins, I guess. Yeah. Roll credits. Um... Yeah, no, uh, the one, the couple of critiques I have about this game is the size of the map and the inefficiency, the inefficiency of the, uh, the glider about it. And like how so much of the map is like walled off. So you have to take certain paths around everything. You can't just like go above buildings, which is weird. Aussie babies. What the heck is Aussie babies? I don't know. All the babies that were born in wild during. But... Hey, it's a full Whoa. team. Congratulations. I don't see one Batman shirt. They were doing this for how many years? <laughs> Seriously, some games take up to five years of development. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, it astonishes me how, how long it takes to really make a game. I'm going to lean back in my chair right here. Ooh. Just going to relax. Way to go. Brought the mic closer. Um, story, I thought, you know, story is good, but just I don't know, that's, just doesn't have as much weightiness as the uh, Rocksteady games. Yeah. Good God. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's the other issue is that like the, and that's the problem with writing a prequel. Like you can't have the same kind of weight. No. You can have a different weight. 
Yeah, and this game does have it in different areas. Yeah, but there are things that you can't do in a prequel that they tried to do, and, like, there was not a single point this whole thing where Uh, I was like, oh, no, we're going to lose him. Yeah. Because they, like, everything they built up, like, Bane finding out uh, who Batman is, and... um, Alfred falling to his death? Alfred falling to his death, like, that's... We know the outcome, no matter what. Yeah, but the and that's different than when the Joker puts gets in the electric chair. Yeah, because that's not a of all. We do know that that's not going to happen. But at the same time, it's the challenge of oh crap! Now what do we have to do? Because we know because we're reading it, we're like reading it, we're playing it in context of the other games. Yep. So you. This game. Other games that came before this. Yeah. So, like, prequels, I think prequels of all the spin off games, of all the games that come after an entity. Yeah. Um, like an IP, a prequel is the hardest. Yep. Because you, so many things you already know are going to happen. Yes. So, it is all read in the context of this stuff has already happened in universe. Yeah. So, I'm rambling, um, and this has been going on for a real long time. Yep. But overall, I say definitely not a bad game. Absolutely not. Definitely a very solid Batman game. I mean, the only the the only reason why we're critiquing it so hard is because there are other Batman games. If this was the the first and only one, it would be phenomenal. Yeah, and it's not not phenomenal. No. It's like. It's solidly built. It's got a really good story. Um, you feel like Batman the whole you time. You absolutely feel like Batman. That's what all the games have done phenomenally well. Hey, is w- there's never a point <laughs> where I don't feel like Batman. Uh, Will Smith worked on this. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right, let's call this an episode. We shall. It was so good to see all of you. We got new game plus unlocked, and then I am the night mode, which if you don't know what that one is, now we got alternate Batman outfits. Uh, if you don't know what I am the night mode is... It's literally uh, one life, you die, you lose. Is that Waller? Yes, it is. Suicide Squad. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me? They got the animated actor, actress. Hell yeah. Yeah, she's my favorite Waller. There is a spin-off game of this spin-off game called Arkham Blackgate or something that came out on like the PSP. <laughs> it's a 2D side scroller thing. It well, it's not I never played it. Up for it. I've got a few loose ends to tie up out here and I could use your help. You can count on it. And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you for our breakfast. And we'll tie up those loose ends next time on Leather Soup Gaming. All right, this has been a wonderful adventure. We'll see y'all in our next one. Give your parents a hug, because they are definitely alive. And if they're not, hug their picture that you keep on your fireplace. Oh, God. That's what Batman would do.